an addition, I'd like to call upon Millie Barton to present the Vantage One Credit Union Bursary. <laughs> Congratulations, Reese. Dylan Schmeigel. Dylan is the most memorable moment with the Forest Camping Trip, meeting new friends in the Carter Lake Retreat. He would like to thank his friends for their support, and Dylan plans to work for a year after graduating and then return to his studies. Well done, Dylan. Passion Shelley. Ashley would like to thank his teachers and friends for loving, supporting, and encouraging him. And then for their presentation in the health field. All the best to you, Michelle. Creative Sharma. Creative, otherwise known as Prius or Africa. Would like to thank the teachers over the years for encouraging her to be the best version of herself. She would also like to thank the friends for being there for her. Brianna plans to attend Oakland College to earn an associate's degree in science. We would like to call upon Nell McGinnis to present the Vernon Jubilee Auxiliary Youth Healthcare Volunteer Program in Water to Brianna. She would like to thank her friends and family, her parents for all of their support, her teachers for all of the good laughs, and all of her best friends for all of the good times. Alexandra's plans for the future are to be successful and happy. Congratulations, Alexandra. <laughs> Sky Lady Smart, aka Sky, I'd like to thank her mom and family for being supportive and her friends for making her school go by faster. Skyline plans to take a break from school to gain more experience in the workforce. Well then, well done, Skyline. <laughs> Jordan is going to go. I'd to thank his mother for her support and for making him the man that he is today standing on this stage. Jordan's future plans include becoming a music producer. All the very best to you, Jordan. Miriam is proud to be here today graduating. She would like to thank her mom for always being there for her through the highs and the lows and for giving her unconditional love and support. She would like to make a special thank you to her aunt Larissa, her siblings, and all of her friends. Miriam's future plans are to complete the nursing unit assistant program through the school career center. Earlier this year, Miriam was appointed the school district number 22 dual credit program tuition scholarship to enroll in the nursing unit program. Best wishes, Miriam. Amy Strong. Amy Strong is going to graduate. She would like to thank Cassie and Francis for being there. Many of you. Baby plans to attend nursing school. Congratulations, Baby. Sanea Sanea, aka Sanea Merch or Princess, on the looks back of becoming the 56th Princess Superstar, modeling in the Grand Fashion Show and Hawaiian Game. She would like to thank her mom and brothers for all of their love and support. She would also like to thank her friends who you all made the world to me. A special thanks to Bailey for always being there for her, and also thanks to all of her teachers over the past five years. Sanyea plans to attend university to pursue a degree in political science. Sanyea is the proud recipient of the following scholarships and bursaries. Earlier this year, Sanyea was awarded the Queen Silver Star Excellence Award and recently was the recipient of the Spirit Award from Okanagan College. At this time, I would like to call upon Patty Harrison to present the Okanagan College Community Spirit Award to Sanyea. Santos to present the Fraternal Order of Eagles Ladies Auxiliary Bursary to Sanea. 
Congratulations, Lynn. Simran Jakar. Simran, aka Sims, most memorable moments of our home include all of the grad bonding moments, the band field 2016 field trip, the grad fashion show, all the grad pranks, and mission possible. She would like to thank Tiana for supplying her with an endless set of jokes which helped her get through the years, and all the teachers and support staff for their work. Simran plans to attend Okanagan College to help her pursue a career in the soft software industry. I would like to uh, She has been given an award uh, for the Mission Hill Elementary Parent and Auxiliary Council Service Award. Being given by Mr. Brockman. Thank you. Simran. Yeah. Matthew Teresanko. Matthew, or otherwise simply Matt, would like to thank Mr. G, Mr. Carter, Mr. Schrader, and Mr. Anderson for making school a more enjoyable place. We would also like to thank his friends Lucas, Abu, Francis, James, and Brandon for being great friends throughout high school. Matthew plans to attend Oakland College to pursue a Bachelor of Computer Information Science. All the very best to you, Matthew. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin would like to thank Mr. Schrader for making math a little easier with his wacky personality. Kevin plans to attend the University of Victoria to become an engineer. Kevin is the proud recipient of the following scholarships. He received the University of Faculty of Engineering Entrance Award and the Interior Savings Scholarship. I would like to call upon Daria Cooper to present the Clarence Fulton Staff Award to Kevin. Dana Wagner. Dana would like to thank the staff and teachers of Fulton for being so welcoming over these past few months. They have shown her kindness and support, and for that reason, she is grateful. Dana's future plans are to take a year off and then apply to attend the University of Mexico. All the very best to you, Dana. Saya Long. Saya A.K. Allison is proud to have taken part in the RCMP Academy, completing Food Safe Level 1 and earning a silver medal in Cook Street. She would like to take thank Mrs. Cooper for providing her with lots of help, even though she isn't an international student. She would also like to thank Mr. G for providing her lots of help with law and psychology. Mr. G made me love these two subjects. Inspired my future plans. So we have then Karen Watts. Karen would like to thank his friends and family for keeping him on the right track through life. Earlier this year, Karen was awarded the School District 22 Dual Credit Program Tuition Scholarship to enroll in the Automotive Service Technician Program. All the very best to you, Karen. She completed the dual credit college program studying hairdressing at PBSS, earning the top mark on the Red Seal exam. She would like to thank Mr. Levi, Mrs. Malcolm, Mrs. Walker, Mr. Smith, Mrs. Pascal, Mrs. Jorgensen, Mr. Dixon, and Mrs. Thorburn. Best wishes, Sarah. while the Fulton was winning a challenge against Reed in the Shadow. You know what I'm referring to. He would like to thank his parents and friends for believing him. Congratulations, Connor. <laughs> Kieran Webster. Kieran, or Big Bird, would like to thank friends, family, and his girlfriend for supporting him all these years. His future plans are to win the lot of 649 and retire. Good luck with that, Karen. Casey Weems. Casey would like to thank Algie and Patty Harrison for keeping it real and encouraging her. She would 
would also like to thank Mrs. C for helping me through math and for her kindness. Daisy will be attending Thompson Rivers University in the fall of 2017 to pursue a Bachelor of Arts degree. At this time, I'd like to call upon Mr. Al G to present the Fulton's Humanities Scholarship to Casey. All the very best to Casey. James B. James, also known as James, Jones, and Jamie, is most proud of the several times he made the role of distinction, honor roll, and the principal's list. He is also proud of earning the gold medals in Biology 11 and Spanish 11. We would like to thank Mr. G, Mr. Schrader, and Ms. Arnold for supporting him throughout his high school career. We would also like to thank his friends, Francis, Mohammed, Chris, Owen, Liam, Noah, and Matt for all of the memories over the years. James plans to attend post-secondary school to study either marine biology or business management. Congratulations, James. For the Adventure Guide Diploma. Erin would eventually like to start her own business. At this time, I would like to call upon Mr. Joe Rogers, Superintendent of Schools, to present the Ministry of Education School District Excellent Scholarship. Life. So, 
Congratulations to Aaron Ahmed, Top Business Education Seminar. I would now, now like to call upon Ms. Jackie Olson, Ms. Patty Harrison, and Ms. Nicole Cooperley to join and present in the awarding of our top uh, food sciences and home economic students. We will begin with our top food sciences. Throughout the last two years, this young person has participated in the Fulton Cook Training Program with a passion for the culinary arts and a continued commitment to the daily production of quality food. He has demonstrated an outstanding work ethic, attendance and leadership in addition to the development of his culinary skills. Congratulations goes to Sam Battersby for being the recipient of the Top Food Sciences Award. during her grade 11 and 12 years at Fulton. Over the course of the last two years, she has grown to demonstrate improved attendance, an excellent ability to self-direct in the kitchen, and therefore an improved work ethic, dedication to leadership, sanitation, and quality task completion. A big congratulations goes up to Bailey Strong, this year's top economic student.
This year's Fulton Female Athlete of the Year award winner played volleyball and basketball. In senior volleyball, at the middle blocker position, she was a force to be reckoned with, helping her team to a double A North Zone Championship banner, a fourth place finish at the Senior Girls Double A Okanagan Valley Volleyball Championships, and a spot in the Senior Girls Volleyball Double A Provincial Wild Card Qualifying Tournament. On the Senior Girls Basketball team, she played in the paint, aggressively rebounding and defending against players sometimes six inches or more taller than herself. She helped her basketball team play second in the AA North Zone League and sixth in the Senior Girls AA Basketball Okanagan Valley Championships. In her senior year, she developed confidence and poise on the court. She competed hard and would often turn to her team in the huddle between points and yell, Let's go! Let's do this! This year's Fulton Female Athlete of the Year is Jasmine Fox.
receive their awards. Arden Lowe, Connie Anderson, Arab Ahmad, Casey Casey Wins, Landon Curry, Madison Pat, Phoebe Lennon, Takesha Desmaris, Ashley Glenn Swallow, and David King. This student is now a majestic, 
giant cedar. Today, the entire school is proud of this student and the amazing, strong individual he has become. His teachers are honored to have played their part in helping him become an amazing young man that, had, that he has grown into. He has become more than a student to his teachers, but also a friend. So here to present the Principal's Award, it is the Larry Gris Principal's Award, uh, is his teacher and friend, Ms. Lisa Belkin. Please join me in recognizing this year's recipient, Rex Leon. <laughs> remembers him asking for an extra research project 
not for Marx, simply because he loved to do research. Another teacher writes, his work is analytical and insightful. His explanations are thorough, but also reveal a deeper connection to the concept, con concepts and the process of experimentation in science. Wow. Since coming to Fulton, he has achieved marks over 90% in all his classes, with many of those marks between 96 and 100. Yes, there were several that were 100% mainly in sciences and languages. However, he doesn't just ride on his talent. He puts a lot of hard work and energy into doing the very best he can to earn top marks. He is not only shown in academics, he has also been engaged in many different aspects of student life that have helped to make Fulton a better place. He has given of his time and talents in the Fulton Leadership Program for the duration of his high school years, helping to coordinate dances, spirit week activities, and fundraisers. He has been part of the Fulton Drama Program, performing in various roles and coordinating stage events. He has often earned citizenship awards because he looks for ways to make sure new students are included and feel welcome. He has been part of the book club, the math club, the LGBTQ square club, and student voice. With that said, it is with great pleasure, and I guess no surprise, to give the award for best all-round student to Mr. David Keenan. David, you can't, you can't go back there yet. Sorry. <laughs> and now it is my pleasure to introduce you to Clarence Fulton Secondary's graduating class of 2017 speakers of the class, Ms. Ashley Glinswoggle and Mr. David King. Well done, graduating class of 2017. My name is Ashley Glintzwalkel. And my name is David King. We are both humbled and privileged to present to you the valedictorian speech this year on behalf of our graduating class. In order to speak about our grad class, we must first address the many influences in our lives that led us to this moment. A lot of thank yous are in order for today. To our educators, thank you for sharing your time and knowledge with us. You are the heroes of the classroom, and at times, our greatest villains. Yes, it's your job, but what you do outside of your paid time goes beyond the call of duty. Thank you for demanding the best from us, and above all, thank you for believing in us. To our coaches, role models, and advisors at school, thank you for making school about more than just homework and assignments. You have taught us how to excel in our passions and power through failure and disappointment. To our guardians, thank you for your support and tough love when we just didn't want to get out of bed in the morning. You listened to our endless complaints as we updated you on the latest drama of the week. Thank you for your patience and your pride in us. Well, now that that's all covered, let's move on to the juicy bit. The reason you're all here today, us, the graduates of 2017. We arrived at Bolton five years ago as skilled homegrown demons fresh out of seven years of elementary school, not having a clue what to expect on the cusp of a huge change. You could say not much is different. Fulton was new territory, and we had to begin in our new lives. As Fulton beaners, we quickly learned something the cavemen had discovered thousands of years ago, their strength in numbers. Walking the hallways alone at break proved to be a nightmare. It's a big world out there when you're only five foot two. But for every time we were yelled at by grade twelves for walking too slow, we grew a little bit more independent. Oh, how far we've come. From the bottom of the food chain all the way to the top, it wasn't all so bad. 
We experience the joy and the occasional discomfort of sweaty high school dances, the intensity of spirit week, and the team wars that followed. And we took pride in supporting our sports teams or theatrical productions. Somewhere along the way, we managed to pass most of our classes. In gym class, we got nicknames from the PE teachers that soon became more recognized than our actual names. We all know Vaughn, Nato, and Chopper, though some of them attempted to bury these names like omissions, which Ashley has struck from the history books. Honestly, it has been pointy to get some of us here today, and sometimes it feels like it would have been easier to just give up. Ten months ago, we began our final year here at Fulton with a laundry list of requirements to fulfill so we could get here. You know, I'm not sure a single person finished their grad transitions on time. Truly, we have had to persevere. There has been the grueling English 12 provincial, which hit everyone like a bus, but a big thank you to Mrs. Woodliffe for teaching all of us grade 12 English and not throwing our illiterate butts out the door within the first week. Well, except maybe my there is the daunting case of Mr. Tory's biology 12 class, which I can't even try to say I got through because I never took it. Instead, I went down to biology online. It was my favorite class. It has been hurdles and hoops we've had to jump through in order to get here today, and a lot of late, pre late night procrastinating. But not everything was so bad. Even if we acted like it. Wedged between our struggles have been moments of pure fun. We kicked off the year by going to Garden Bowl, then continued to rock at Mission Impossible. I have never seen Mr. Bull or Thompson run that fast, nor did I know they were that fast. Mr. Thompson has never struck me as the athletic type. <laughs> Our class performed grand breaks with a number of huge successes, and I don't think Mr. Gatsby will ever look at his face the same way again. But it is time to say farewell to this place full of memories. A great man once wrote, they said that they could break you in less than three weeks and send you home to your rich daddy and his moo moo cows. I knew when they looked at you that they would underestimate you. That man is here with us today. Thank you, Mr. Brown, also known as PC Beck, author of A Hard Land. Today is not just about receiving a diploma and walking across the stage. We are here to prove those wrongs who underestimate us. We've all had our doubters, though sometimes we doubt ourselves. If you are here, you have proved that you are more than capable. High school has not been the same for each graduate. For some, it has been a challenge, and for others, high school has been the highlight of a lifetime. Our adversities throughout our time in school vary greatly, but we all have one thing in common, the memories we've made together. Whether good or bad, we are gathered here to celebrate. If you have been going to Fulton since grade 8 or joined our grad class somewhere along the way, we share the sentiment with you no matter where you begin. Ahead of us stand new beginnings. They can be wonderfully exciting and awfully scary. High school has been a place where we have spent countless hours of our lives. So far our lives have been structured with classes we have to take, homework to do, tests to pass, and school to attend for 13 years. I don't know about you, but I'm not very accustomed to change. I realize that everything from here on out is about to change, it's about to shift, it's about to start. All of our paths have led us to this point, but now all those roads will diverge in every direction possible. From traveling, to university, to working, and more. Our choices will define us from here on in. The only people that can make them are you and I. Now is the time to take a step into the unknown, graduates and to decide where we go from here. We began today by thanking those in our lives who have shaped us, but we would be remiss to leave out the most important people of all, each other. Thank you to Clarence Bolton's graduating class of 2017. When you get right down to it, we've been the greatest influences of each other. Life really wouldn't be the same without you. Each of us has been crucial in some way or, or another, in the influence of each other. And although we may be at the end of our time together, we will continue to influence each other through the memories we share. There is no need for goodbye, and instead we say, See you next time.
And now we are going to begin our recessional, because this brings to conclusion our formal grad ceremony. We look forward to our grad prom at Vernon Lodge at Fulton Secondary tomorrow evening. So, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce you to the graduating class of 2017. Secondary schools graduating class 2017. That's okay.